Hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading today. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Capricorn, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, darling, because that is how I keep up with you in the comments, honey. So also, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today, Capricorn, or you just enjoy my vibe, honey, I'd really appreciate it if you were to take the extra step to give this video a like and subscribe, Capricorn. Excuse me because it does help me out a lot. And Aries, I'm super appreciative of it. Capricorn, when you take the extra step to do that for me. Um, but remember to use your intuition when it comes to receiving this reading today, Capricorn, because put it in perspective, I'm just man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, Capricorn, so take the cards that resonate. I believe what doesn't. I believe the cards are, are just here to give you some food for thought, perspective for you to consider, but never making the choices in your life, darling, because it's your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, Capricorn, let's just get into your weekly reading, honey, right? Let's pull up these sleeves, honey, and let's get elbow deep, right? These are my elbows. It's also like one o'clock in the morning, <laughs> Capricorn, so don't mind me. A little bit loopy, honey. So let's jump into this. The animal spirit stepping forward for you for your overall theme this week, Capricorn, is the buffalo spirit, number 10, equaling to 1 from numerology, Capricorn. So go ahead and write that number down for me to look up at a later point. So the buffalo spirit says, the abundant universe will provide. So read in between the lines when it comes to this card, Capricorn. What does this mean? In this sense, this is almost a card of asking you, Capricorn, to practice a little bit more faith in them. Now I know I I know it's kind of a is, it kind of is but isn't at the same time I would associate this buffalo spirit kind of similar to y'all's energy Capricorn I feel like some of you guys might just eye roll and be like oh okay Velka it's just both horns huh but I feel like this is I don't know I feel like for some of you guys you might really connect to the buffalo spirit I even kind of suggest for you uh, Capricorn after this video to um, look up the metaphysical meaning behind. Uh, or the spiritual meaning, rather, behind the Buffalo Spirit and to see what messages uh, the Spirit has for you. So, uh, Capricorn, let's dive into this a little bit deeper, right? What is this universe, what is Spirit asking for you to uh, have a little bit more faith on? Let's start unwinding this story, darling. Let's see here. Starting this journey out for you. We have the Three of Wands. So Capricorn, this is a card of travel. Some of you guys may be moving, whether it's physically in your environment, Capricorn, or this is you just traveling from place to place, right? This could be a situation where you're sh thinking about shifting jobs. This could be in this place where you are shifting mentally from a situation from a person, right? This could be all a mental thing of where you're just transitioning your mindset from a situation to something anew, right? Wherever you're shifting to the early, right? Let's take a deeper look. I also want to point out, I always say Capricorn, this is the card my table is about to just like fall right in front of me, honey. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uh, the three of wands, I also like to point out Capricorn is the card of a uh, noticing signs, right? So whenever a spirit comes in in this way with the buffalo spirit, having faith in them, it feels to me, uh, Capricorn, to start looking at the signs this week to see uh, what, um, you know, what clues, what hints are being left for you, right? Let's dive a little bit deeper, honey. We have the Eight of Swords coming in here. So you haven't been able to see the signs, Capricorn. With this Eight of Swords here, you're choosing to stay blind, darling. There's almost this resistance from yourself and you choosing to sabotage yourself, Capricorn, in some type of way. Why are you limiting yourself? Why are you, you probably, I would, you can be bold enough to say, Capricorn, that you probably feel pretty spiritually disconnected at this time with this Eight of Swords here. So, and because of this disconnect, you are losing faith in terms of where your path is taking you in some specific avenue, whether it's just in, in terms of like education, for example, in terms of love for other people, right? This Three of Wands here, as I talked about with the signs, the hints and clues, honey, this Eight of Swords, you're not able to see it. Now, I do want to, I feel like it's kind of an easy, uh, thing to say it's kind of an internal thing because that is what the eight of swords is about is like the reflection in of yourself how you're seeing yourself capricorn but uh let's see what this other no, this next card in this journey has for you what do we have here the death card okay so 
you guys uh capricorn have been fighting change fighting for an ending fighting for an ending to not occur maybe some of you guys capricorn have been able to acknowledge me like oh yeah this is coming to a close but you haven't been wanting to admit that to yourself you you kind of wanted to pretend or be you know maybe the sense of like ignorance is bliss uh capricorn right that's probably how you're feeling it's just a sense of just ignorance is bliss and so you know maybe this is your issue here maybe because things are coming to a close in your life right now this is giving you a little bit of a freak out capricorn you weren't worrying about if you're doing the right things or what have you or maybe you're feeling as if you're being punished from the universe perhaps capricorn just because of things closing right let's close off this row here queen of swords here so this is an energy uh capricorn you definitely probably might feel a little bit isolated at this time a little bit outcasted but i feel like it's kind of of your own uh decision if i can say capricorn i do feel as if right now your guard is up Right? I feel like my Capricorns, their guard is up really in this sensitive state right now. And that kind of worries me, um, Capricorn. It worries me because it's almost like this, the, this, um, it feels almost like you're taking some things really hard, right? And it's because of just this really like trying process for you right now, uh, Capricorn, that this could make you a little bit bitter. And I don't want to see that, right? I said one more. I wanted. I said last one, but this is the last one for this. Ace of Wands. So definitely something's going to be picking up your interest, Capricorn. That is for sure. Uh, you know, if you choose to fight through just a little bit longer, uh, Capricorn, right? If you choose to allow things to come to an end, right? With this death card coming in here for you, Capricorn, right? If you choose to accept things to just fall where they need to fall, this is when the Ace of Wands steps forward for you, where it's new opportunities, something for you to really start shifting your passions your interest into right so now capricorn let's start getting into uh your advice from spirit this week what it's what what advice does spirit have for my capricorns this is where the tough love comes in capricorn so buckle up right we have the dragonfly spirit stepping forward for you number 22 equaling to four for numerology write that down uh the dragonfly spirit truth ascend transcends illusions so capricorn this is a situation of where it kind of like addresses the eight of swords energy when you think about it don't you think capricorn because with if you were to look up the eight of swords card it would speak about illusions right here right that's the common theme no matter what deck you're using it's the illusion of feeling trapped i mean so this is where your spirit guides are going to be addressing what they're going to be addressing um sh showing you the bold truths in a situation so kind of have a suspicion on what this could mean capricorn but uh let's continue diving deep deeper with this right let's get some clarifiers let's see here we have the judgment card coming in here twos another two uh stepping forward for you it's interesting so uh with this judgment card coming in here this is a card of uh definitely sharing the same kind of vision um capricorn in the sense of something finally coming into action of, of uh almost like karma right? Karma coming into completion or the sense of cycles finally coming to its highest peak or to closure, right? Let's dive deeper. The King of Cups inverted for you. Why is the King of Cups here? The Wheel card inverted. So Capricorn, really, this is one of those things, Capricorn, where you're being asked to kind of let go, right? Stop trying to be in control of the ship you know, in, in a storm, I don't know why I have this knowledge. Maybe this is me just speaking out of pocket, Capricorn, and it's not actually true. But um, I have this impression of where it's like if you're in like a very rough storm, you can't really fight it out too much with um, being at the wheel. I feel like I'm actually speaking out of my butt right now because I don't feel like that's the case. But I'm going to let it let it be said. It's one of those things is instead of fighting the storm, uh, uh, Capricorn, or just let things happen. The judgment call is going to be already the judgment judgment call has already been made, right? You can't change the result on things. Only thing you can do is delay the inevitable, right? So by delaying the inevitable, 
you know, you're still going to be experiencing this pain, this perceived pain that you might be going through, um, and we'll be going through a little bit with the King of Cups. I see you kind of having a little bit of hard time stomaching this, uh, Capricorn. Um, the sooner, you know, it's just like ripping off that band-aid, honey. Think about it like that. Let's get a closing card for this row. Queen of Cups inverted as well. Um, definitely energy as well, implying this sense that you may not be feeling trusting or very open to other energies. So I kind of get this impression um, from my Capricorns that if this is in regards to like a social situation with someone, almost this sense of where you're accepting like a, I feel like it's like accepting like a dynamic of a relationship, platonic or romantic, darling, coming to an end, realizing you can't change anything about this outcome. They're not going to change. Allow it to allow the cycle to come into completion and allow this chapter to end so you can start a new chapter Capricorn all right so now let's get into uh, the good things for you this week Capricorn what are the good things what are the good things rather uh, in the works for you this week now you may be seeing this come into fruition this week or you may just be seeing signs of it this week Capricorn remember I'm not a genie in a bottle I can't make these things happen for you I can only tell you what the cards are implying is coming to you so we have the squirrel spirit coming in here, number 57, equaling to 12, which would be three for numerology. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself coming in here. So even though you're riding out the storm, Capricorn, you're having to need to practice this faith in terms of, again, not only having faith in terms of the universe taking care of you, Capricorn, but also the message of where it's like having faith that you yourself are going to be able to make it through the storm, right? Even if you were to not be so um your hands so engrossed into the situation trying to control every single detail of what's going on capricorn right believe in yourself right let's see what happens what happens for my capricorn when they believe in themselves right let's take a look you have here the high priestess card so listening to your intuition right as i was saying before capricorn i felt as if a lot of you guys were going to feel a little bit spiritually disconnected this week if you haven't already just because i feel like there's been like this waning faith a little bit um for whatever your reason is whatever you know i don't need to know your business like that right but i do feel like a little bit no longer doubting like your leader instinct you know trusting in the sense your own abilities right let's dive a little bit deeper into this capricorn we have the seven of swords in the reverse so this is a situation of really again no longer engaging uh in an energy that you know no longer giving something a second chance capricorn right hierophant coming in here um, very much so learning from like your mistakes or perceived mistakes, Capricorn. I do feel like this sense of here where it's like just this sense of no longer allowing some type of uh, energy coming into your space again that you at one at one point held intimately to you. Because by then, Knight of Cups, this is how it all wraps together, Capricorn. This is how it's the good things for you. By you listening to your intuition as the High Priestess and letting go is something that you already kind of knew you couldn't trust with the Seven of Swords in the reverse, right? Seven of Swords is a distrusting energy. So when it's inverted, this is like a distrusting energy, but you're still kind of gravitating to it and be like, oh, maybe I can change them. Maybe I can change this dynamic. Maybe I'm different, right? And so the Hierophant also signifies a little bit of a two-part message. One, as if we can already tell and what I would assume, uh, Capricorn, this shows to me like a, something that you were initially really committed to, and that's why you're really trying to make it work. Um, but it also shows to me, you know, the high, uh, Hierophant represents higher knowledge, so it shows to me that you're at some point going to learn from it, whether it's this week or not, right? It's up to you, darling, right? I'm not in control of your life. Knight of Cups comes in. This is when you finally remove that blockage in your life, Capricorn, and it allows new energy to come in. What does that cup represent? This could be, depending on your situation, Capricorn, this could be Knight of Cups. A lot of people would see this as the cliche, like a new person coming into your life. This could be in terms of a new job opportunity. Whatever that closure is, I feel like it's kind of related. And that's why the energy is like, that's why this comes in after you put the closure to this, because then it's like, all right, you're starting the new chapter, the next chapter with that subject. Does that make sense, Capricorn? I hope it does. 
All right, now Capricorn, let's take a look into your social situations this week. Let's see what's going on for my Capricorn's romantic uh, relationship in terms of also their social situations, right? Romantic and platonic, darling. This could be your work, this could be family, it could be anything, Capricorn. Let's take a look and see what's going on here. We have the mountain goat coming in. Okay, this is your card, honey, right? You can't argue with this one. You may have got that buffalo spear and you're just like, okay, well, uh, like it's a stretch, darling. We'll let you have it because it's a horn. Oh, come on, honey. <laughs> mountain goat stepping forward. <laughs> There's something out of balance in your life, so do whatever you need to do to correct it. So this is probably what heavily a lot of the general portion of this reading was talking about Capricorn was a social situation, which I was kind of getting the implication of um, throughout this. So this is kind of more so holding back into this message here, right? So really confirming the sense of something being out of balance. And I feel like it's kind of like in your control, uh, Capricorn. But you know, let's take a look. Let's see what uh, the cards have to say, darling. We have the Ace of Cups coming in here. So this is in regards to your heart chakra. This is in regards to your matters of your emotions. Um, this is, you know, lets you know of that personal situation. Again, you have the Devil card in the reverse. So definitely addressing those things. Again, no longer opening your heart to those old situations, giving things second chances, accepting a devil for what it is and putting it into the past, no longer engaging with this devil anymore uh capricorn this is what's bringing your life out of balance i do feel like there's some type of social situation bringing your life out of balance so what i would say to you right now capricorn this week because keep in mind this is just a general reading um definitely just assess the relationships that you have in your life this week from an objective standpoint and see which ones still provide you any type of value in whatever way whether that's emotional value value financial value whatever you know all those things right just so you can because you i feel like there's a sense here where you've outgrown something outgrown a person capricorn we have the ten of wands in the reverse so again yeah this is the baggage tens represents closures to cycles as well this is kind of just like a situation capricorn where spirits telling you these tarot cards are telling you to kind of be like all right wrap it up honey right let's wrap this up so then we have the Queen of Wands inverted for you. Until you wrap this up, <laughs> I'm just now getting how ridiculous that can sound for some. Um, until you wrap this up, Capricorn, right? I just don't see forward movement. I see this being like your major thing that weighs you down. You know, the Queen of Wands normally in the upright is a card of really, I kind of want to say like letting your freak flag fly in a sense where it's just like you're leaving the nest and just unapologetically being yourself and living in your passion, Capricorn, right? So this is what's out of balance. You need to finally let go of some devil in your life that may at one point no longer have been, a, no, at one point wasn't a devil in your life, Capricorn, but now they turned into that devil, right? And you kind of need to accept that. I always want to say the devil villainizes an energy heavily, right? Um, but I don't, you know, I do feel like it's just more so a situation, Capricorn, where you just outgrown someone. Uh, more than it actually being like a heavy negative source that's just in your life and trying to make your life miserable. All right, now Capricorn, let's take a dive into your financial and career situation this week. Let's see what's in the works for my Capricorns and your financial. What's look? What is? What is it looking like, darling, this week for them? For my beautiful Capricorns, you have the Emu card. This card says this is the time to go on to a new adventure, Capricorn. All right, all right. So this would be a suggestion in terms of exploring new opportunities when it comes to making your money. This is for my Capricorns as well. If they've been considering a new stream of revenue to explore those options. Um, this is definitely a message for those that are interested in trying to do something different. Capricorn having a new approach with something. So let's take a deeper look with this. We have the world card in the reverse, you know, yeah, you already kind of know this Capricorn, you know, there's this interest in you not doing the same things that you've always done before. So there's this interest in not really sinking back into your comfort zone, sinking back into your old spending habits, right? Some of you Capricorns may have found yourself doing some bad spending habits recently, some stuff that you've got kind of got over at one point. Maybe you start picking up a bad habit again, and that's what the devil represents for some of you guys, is where it's like maybe you've picked up smoking again, and that smoking habit is draining your bank account, honey, and you worked on that before. 
we have the two of pentacles coming in here definitely this sense uh capricorn where i do want to say watch out for overwhelming yourself for trying to do too many projects at once trying to do too many things at once kind of like in a sense of where it's like you want to change your diet while also working out every single day while also picking up a new business you know trying to stack too much on your plate you know setting yourself up for failing capricorn take a practical approach right remember to Come at things from a balanced place. Ten of Cups coming in here, so this is a good sign. Bountiful time, still the Chariot card. So this is what I would suggest to you, Capricorn, this week. In terms of your financial and career this week, if you are interested in dabbling into something new, do that. But go at it from a more responsible approach, a more controlled approach than you may have normally been approaching things for a while, Capricorn. Because this Two of Pentacles here, I feel like it's a cycle that you've kind of put yourself in consistently. Especially with this World card, you probably, Capricorn, have a pretty bad habit of um, catching, you know, overwhelming yourself with too many projects at once. And then because of that, it kind of fizzles everything out and then you're just like, oh, well, is this project not good or did I just not have the time for it, right? Um, I feel like you have good ideas. You just need to make the time to be able to dedicate strictly to that. You know, you have good ideas. Just uh, come at it from a more practical approach, Capricorn. So now, Capricorn, let's get into your final card. I love closing out readings with a quote or positive affirmation because Capricorns, y'all know, I love my quotes, honey. So uh, let's look at what uh, positive affirmation steps forward for you guys this week, Capricorn, that you can take with you as you go throughout this week. Let's see here. There is a stream of love supporting my dreams. What were we just talking about, Capricorn? We were talking about dreams, darling. We were talking about how you have wonderful dreams, wonderful ideas, Capricorn, but you just need to have a practical plan to it, right? You need to have a practical support system for these dreams, right? You have good ideas. Don't doubt those. Don't doubt your what's going on up here, Capricorn, right? Just make sure you make the time for specific things. Don't just overwhelm yourself with ideas and when you have an idea darling support it right support it in a in the proper way rather than trying to support many things at once i'm going to say it again there's a stream of love capricorn supporting my dreams there's a stream of love capricorn supporting your dreams so that is the weekly tarot horoscope reading that i have for you this week capricorn i hope you found some cards that resonated with you if you did let me know in the comments below be sure to give this video a like and subscribe capricorn also if you would like to book a private personal reading with me capricorn i have my website down below it's simply velka along with my social medias tiktok instagram twitter everything is just simply velka and yeah yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate the opportunity to do this reading for you, Capricorn. If you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, send them their Zodiac video. Maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well, Capricorn. Till next time, though, I love you so much, Capricorn. 